Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Google Play Edition ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S4. So guys, let's get started. So as I said guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Google Play Edition ROM for your Galaxy S4. So, this uh, version of the ROM will work for the i9-505, the T-Mobile version, the AT&T version, and Canadian version. So, as you can see I'm right here, I'm going to reboot the device for you to show you the cool boot screen. Guys, I'm still not home, but I will be coming soon f home for the next video. So, let's mm -hmm. boot this phone up. Right off the bat, when it boots up, you will be able to tell that it is a Google Play edition. So, let's let it boot up. Uh, this is version Android version 4.2.2. So, um, I did not want to review the 4.3 yet, since that's not official, and that could just be a big rumor. So I'm going to hold off for that until it is official as it's not fully stable yet either. So as you can see, you had the Google Play boot screen and now you're just in your normal UI. So when you first install this, it will come with the stock launcher. As you can see, I overlaid Nova Launcher on it as I find it to be a lot quicker. So I'm going to start off by going over some of the stuff about this ROM that you wouldn't get on something else like a CM10.1 ROM and I will also tell you my annoyances and what problems I've had with this ROM so let's get right into it so if we jump up into settings as you can see there is nothing here it's just your normal settings so if you have been using AOKP, CyanogenMod or uh, Paranoid Android and all those other options you ha get uh, you're losing all those settings and you have to keep that in mind when you flash this ROM so that's what this ROM is it's a Google Play edition which is meaning you basically get stock Google Play edition so it's all stock Android 4.2.2 as I said there is a 4.3 version out there but it is not official yet so as you can see right here it says GTI 9505G I actually have the AT&T ver variant, uh, if you pop back you can see the AT&T logo right there. So uh, it does work on AT&T and T-Mobile as I said before. Uh, when you're flashing this ROM, if you're on T-Mobile or i9505, you need to flash a TouchWiz kernel. So I prefer the KT kernel, you could find it at xdadevelopers.com or just search up KTunit's kernel for your device. and here it is so it has to be the touch was one as I said you heard me right touch was since uh, the Google editions have touch was kernels for now so the um, basically since you don't get any extra settings you get a faster ROM so as you can see this ROM is blazing fast fast and really really stable except for a couple of bugs uh, if we pop up into camera, you do get the new 4.3 camera. So if we hold, you can see it looks a lot different. And that's basically it. The control settings are a little bit different. Oops. And you get some different controls. Otherwise than that, everything is still the normal picture. And as you can see, they go up in the little corner right there and slide away to let you know that you took a picture so it takes all the way up to 13 megapixels which is nice as before on AOKP ROMs it would only go up to 12.8 megapixels so this is my main annoyance with this ROM and that is kind of a big annoyance and it should be fixed soon as it's a little bug from Google edition so if you click on the home button it will take you home as usual and we're used to holding it to open up our multitasking so you get really used to holding the home button well now if you hold the home button it takes you to Google now instead and to get to the multitasking you have to double click and once you've swiped all those away it still takes you to Google now so um, I'm not sure if this will affect you as much as it affected me but that has been 
kind of an annoyance for me. So when it comes to battery life, this thing has been a beast, actually. So I've been using this for about two days since it's been released. And the battery life has been amazing for me. As you can see, I still have my live wallpaper set right here. And it's a live wallpaper, so they, those take up more battery. And for half the day that it's been today, as I am in Hawaii, it's a different time. I've been able to only get down to 90%. And that's checking all the stuff like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, playing a couple of games. So doing all that, and I was still able to get good battery life. So I think that does say a lot about this ROM. And that's why it's Google Edition. So you lose all those TouchWiz stuff. So right now, since this is a TouchWiz kernel, there might be development later on to add stuff like multi-view and actually the watch on app does work for it too so that's really cool that you will be able to basically have an AOSP touch was wrong so this is one of the big benefits of Google releasing the Google version of the S4 and HTC one meaning that when there will be updates to the latest version of Android you might be able to get it quicker on the S4 using ROMs since it will be sent to the S4 Google edition so guys, as I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, ROM reviews. Uh, they will be in better situations. As I said, I'm not home right now, and I'm just trying to find some way to send this video out to you guys. So guys, please make sure to hit like if you enjoyed this video. Also, do make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. And yeah, guys, thanks for watching.